Hey guys, welcome back to Amped 2 again with Insanic and Blank Tester. It is Kazong. Kazong. So, okay, so last time we had a really stupid debate. Today we're going to get, today, <laughs> today well, we're I, gonna get a bit more serious. I guess one on one. You know, we've got another level where we just kind of ride through and do everything. Common misconceptions. Yeah, so we've gone shirtless, we've gone, you know, shorts. We're Pantsless. totally not ready to hit this mountain, but we're going to do so anyway. Okay, so we're going to be we're gonna be really serious this time. Uh, or at least Extremely more, serious. At least more serious. No, extremely serious. You yeah. can be serious? Super serious. So I've made it clear what I think about the game throughout, you know, the first couple videos. So it's now Kazong, penis. as somebody who does enjoy the game, will finally have a time to, you know, speak without getting completely interrupted. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. You're gonna it's still interrupt him. Not gonna happen. I am going to still interrupt you, cause, okay. uh... Why don't you just get him started by asking him the question you wanted to ask him before? Alright. Uh, which I think was this, though I can't... Well, we, I don't remember the exact It was, it was just okay. straight up about how to improve the playstyle right. system. I've got lo one big suggestion for the game, which I think would improve a bunch of the issues I face with it. And my issue with it is that the style system is so inconsistent, I never seem to be able to figure out, you know, where to... you know, where to hold the left stick when spinning or flipping to actually get the points. Nice. And nice. So my right there. theoretical solution would be... Just push in the stick, you know, click have, the cl left click stick. the left thumb stick, and then you can, you know, style spin or flip. Like you do it that way, and if you don't click it in, then you just go normal speed. Mm. I feel like that would give you a lot more control over when and when not to style, and I I feel like it would certainly help out. Um. Mm. Um, so, so really, it's a question of how far do you need to turn the stick when you're when you're spinning and flipping to do a style spin or flip. Yeah. Uh, Kazan, do you have any anything to add to that? Like any any way you can suddenly blow our minds with some way that the mechanics work differently than we thought? Um, I don't I don't think so. Uh, I guess the the mechanic works. You know, you you hold it about halfway. Mm -hmm. Right, and you probably you figured, figured you knew that already. Uh, you hold it about halfway, and um, if you hold it more than that, it's gonna go a little bit faster, but not a whole lot as far as right. gathering the style points. Um, as you go up in skill, right, your skill levels go up. You spin faster, and so it kind of throws you off on how far you have to hold it based on how far. Um, like how fast you're spinning? Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. So, so when you spin, when you've got a higher spin stat, it actually affects how far you have to hold on the control stick. Uh, it certainly feels like it does. Okay. Would you have to hold it less when you naturally spin faster, or hold it more? Which which would you? Um. Okay. Sorry. Say that again. So if you're if you've got a higher a higher spin stat, for instance, would you have to push the stick further? Or, or less far than halfway. Center. It would. Uh, you're gonna want to get. Uh, ah, sorry. You're gonna want to push it halfway all the time. Uh -huh. um, but when you when you are spinning faster, it's going to feel like you're gonna want to hold it uh, at a lesser degree than halfway, just to compensate oh. for oh, the I see. yeah to compensate. And but so it, it's gonna. Don't. You don't. You don't. But because you're spinning, your character is spinning faster. It feels really, really funky. Huh. Oh, I see. Okay. Maybe I was trying to do that. I don't know. Well, yeah. no. See, I, I see what he's saying because it's like uh, you're when you're when you're spinning. If your spin stat is higher, your guy's gonna spin faster, regardless of if he's yeah. style spinning or not. Yes. Yeah. And that means that for you to land straight and land properly with a spin or a flip. That all depends very much on your style, your your speed of spin or your speed of flip. Yeah. Yes. Which could, I think that might actually mean that if you're spinning faster, wouldn't that mean that I guess you could get to your goal orientation quicker yes. than with low stats. So I guess that's better, but it gives you, I think, less control. It makes you a little bit more reckless. Um, Which, I don't know, like, it, it makes your character harder to control because he's going faster. I mean, if you spin really, really fast, uh, like if you have 
a really high spin stat, then you're, well, I don't know, you don't spin that fast, and you have to slow it down for the style, so, I don't know. I, I kind of think of it like a sharp knife versus a dull knife, you know, both are going to cut something, but it just depends on what you're used to doing. Yeah. If you're used to the slower, uh, you know, the slower spin, it's going to throw you off to do the, the faster spin and vice versa. And spin and flips one of the stats that I prioritized, because to me that was kind of synonymous with, you know, more points overall. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and also about that, this isn't exactly tackling any specific issue. Well, I guess that some stats feel less important than the others, but... Yeah. Uh, how did you? How would you spec your characters? Like by the end of this, I've put the I've put the most points in balance and spin, and kind of gone you know average with the other three. Um, I did kind of a. Uh, I I was actually pretty even on most of my stats, with uh, I think switch being the least. Mm. I yeah, think, but sense. not by much. Not by much. They were all within, you know, two or three points of each other, I think, if I change the board stats up a bit. Um, yeah. Priority priority balance and, and uh, um, flip spin, yeah. Well, I mean, you said that your in Cetic, you said that one of your main problems with it was this the style system. And I think the clicking the thumbstick thing would actually probably be a pretty... I think I mean it's not like they're, they're using the clicking the thumbstick for anything right now. Right? No, I mean they are not using. It's, no, like, it's not just not a control anything. in the game. I think that would have been handy, or at least like an option to turn that on or something. You know, I think that would have been cool. But uh, actually, I think the the thing that I dislike about this game, uh, because I'm on the outside, you know, I haven't played the game. I've just watched you play the game, and the thing that I find really irritating is just the the fact that uh, a lot of these. Oh, we should probably talk about this too. Um, the a lot of these level, not a lot of them, but a, a couple of the challenges feel very, very unplaytested. Um, yeah. And those challenges strike me. A lot of those challenges strike me not as, uh, not as like a solid challenge that's worth completing, but rather just a bunch of bullshit that's in your way. Um, it's kind of like, um, uh, I've been playing Fallout New Vegas a lot, and. Uh, you know, it's really some of the, uh, so the, uh, the the game is fun and all, but like some of the glitches are really fucking annoying. So I'm walking around and I'm trying to kill death claws, and they're really scary. And I've got my shotgun and I'm blowing them away, and then suddenly I find that my character is just lodged in a rock. And oh, I'm no. like, uh, I'm like, this was not play tested. This doesn't feel like like I could m I can mash the jump button and get out of the rock, but that doesn't give me any kind of sense of satisfaction, it just makes me really angry that they didn't playtest the game. Um, and that's kind of how I approach a lot of these these challenges yeah. that, that strike me as bullshit, and I don't know about you two, but that's kind of that's kind of what I think is the real glaring issue with this game. So, most of the game is fine, you know, most of the game seems playtested, plays well, but then, like, there's just these parts where it's... Just like, what's going on? <laughs> if we've been over style as much as we want to, that's one of the two main things. The other is the precision required in some of the events. And, right. You know, I've said it a bunch. Regular writing and sponsor challenges is fine. Photo shoots and pros, bad because of the precision. Um, you know, photo shoots expect you to take this very narrow line where even, like, landing the exact right way from a jump is the only way you can, you know, make a certain ring or... You know, somehow pulling a whole bunch of speed out of your ass once you've just lost it. Right, kind of You know, like... because there's so many rings to get through. I feel like maybe having a couple rings max be at, like, the start of the jumps, or just one to point you in the direction, would have been better. Yeah. Or... But that only kind of solves half the issues. Um, do you have anything to say, kind of, on the, uh, the challenges that I might find, like really hard or annoying um as as far as the the photo shoots no they're they're the bane of my existence as far as this game goes <laughs> i totally 100 percent oh. agree yeah <laughs> yeah so it's really just a question of how much does that drag the experience down for us it drags it down more than it drags it down for you because um, again i mean i don't really have a problem with most of the rest of this game mm-hmm um, yeah, it, it it did drag the experience down definitely because 
you know, like there, there was no real way to teach a person to to do that. It's just not something you can teach in the game, I guess, and it, and it does make it, you know, overly difficult for for you know the player. It's, yeah. It is really irritating. Yeah. Uh, there's one thing I do want to ask about snow skate. <laughs> The guys yeah. on a skateboard in the snow. Yeah. yeah. When I first saw that, I said, that doesn't make any sense. How the fuck does that work? And I didn't look into it. I didn't look it up or anything. Um, Do either of you guys know if that, that's a thing in real life? Snow skating is kind of a minor thing. I don't think there's any big events for it, but if you search it... There are videos where people do it. I mean, because, like, it's basically getting, you know, jumping up in the air the same way you do with a skateboard, and then once you're in the air, you can do a flip trick or maybe a grab trick. Instead, you're doing it on snow. Usually people, like, set up little ramps, jump over, like, benches or rails or stuff. Yeah. See, my thought would be that the, the wheels would get lodged in the snow. Oh, there's no wheels. There's no wheels. It's a flat bottom. Oh, so it's just like a, just a like wheelless... A, a wheelless snowboard, yeah. You got a mini miniature board on the bottom of the board. So really, it's a strapless s snowboard. The size yeah, of not a really a skateboard at all. Well, it's the size of a skateboard. Oh, I guess that's right. I mean, it would be pretty hard to kick flip an entire snowboard around. <laughs> I would love I to see somebody right. do that. Yeah, think about it. I thought you were going for with Marvin Gaye. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing that too much lately. Yeah. Marvin Gaye is going to show up to our house and be like, come on, cut it out. Nah, he'll just shoot you on sight. <laughs> Marvin well, Gaye is, yeah. is uh, known for his. Uh, known Thug for life. Like that, yeah. yeah. Challenge failed. Oh. Uh... <sighs> well, so. Uh, there, ha there haven't been any anatomy of videos for the previous level or this one. I mean, I got through it with enough where I could just fast forward through and show you that it took a couple tries, but I got it. The next one's gonna have an anatomy of video, but you know we won't be recording that in this session. Um, but I'd love to have you on an one of those anatomy of videos, mm -hmm. Kazong. Yeah, if you want to. If you want to. Sure. Um, but see. otherwise, Mount Hood was just. You know, in the high score runs, I just couldn't get that full high score off one of the lower runs. I had so to go to the to go top to one. one. Kind of showed you it in sections. Do um, you think that was intended, or do you think... I think it's intended, because right. obviously, that, like, you beat a couple high scores, and they give you a run from further up the mountain. Right. With more opportunities. That's I, I guess intended. I kind of like that, actually. Because yeah. it's like, you know, it gives you a chance to get familiar with the lower part of the level. Yeah. While still experiencing new things at the upper parts. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Though again, sometimes it feels like they prioritize a couple big moments. Like you saw the highest media challenge, I wasn't reaching it up until I got to the you know highest jump, and oh, there was a massive jump with a media guy where I like completely styled like a double front flip and got fifty thousand points. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, this game did. Yeah, I was about to say. Last game, the AI didn't know how to do anything on rails. Yeah. I forgot to ask. And maybe we've covered it before. Do the AI know how to do things on rails this time? Um, like, no. in these no. challenges? <laughs> anytime, anytime it's a rail, it's uh, really not that much. I mean, this is, this, is enough, this is quite a bit because the person does a combo. Oh, I see. And the rails aren't really long enough to uh, style, style grind on. You're yeah. slow enough. Yeah. Well, yeah. Also, uh, half pipes... Like, the, well, the tiny, tiny little quarter pipes that one of the later tricks in this goes off, mm -hmm. they are just, I do not know how to land on them. I find, I find you're better off, like, coming down and just grinding the top, or better yet, just do a hand plant. Like, do some kind of stall. If it's less than 5,000 points, you're fine. You know, just balance for a little bit, then jump off and enjoy your past trick. No sense trying to get, like, a thousand points by jumping up and doing, like, a misty grab. It's like, back there you crashed into something. I heard the sickening bone crack, and she goes, That was sick! Yeah. I mean, eight thousand's a little much. You gotta have good balance, but... Overall, you got kind of got to combo it, because I could not guarantee I'd have landed that. But here... 4,000 points. Easy peasy. Yeah, I mean, uh, rodeo with a grab, land well, 6,000. Yeah. Don't even try to style if you don't want to. Well done. Yeah, well done. Um, how come these people in their, like, little pictures, how come they're so squished? 
I don't know. Like the pictures, the faces get so stretched. Yeah, like the the the, the uh, mm. in-game faces at the start look all excited, and these ones look all weird. Right, like the photos of the professionals look all stretched and weird and yeah. smudgy. It's like it's they pulled like it's like they pulled really low-quality JPEGs from the back of a snowboarder magazine. Yeah, they might have. <laughs> yeah, um, but also around this point is when. Like if you start hitting, if you if you do the like the third tier of a high score challenge or a sponsor or a photo shoot or so, you'll rank up two levels. Yeah. Like you'll rank okay. up one level for doing like sponsor one and sponsor two, but you'll get two for sponsor three. So okay. that's how you start at t rank two fifty and still make it to one by the end of the game. So it's not that they have two hundred fifty challenges. They just no. Yeah. Though I am skipping all gap and explore challenges in these, if you could not okay. tell. I'm getting all the there's trick a, ones, but I'm not doing the gap and snowman there's ones. There's a lot of those. Yeah. I mean, like, starting at 250 and giving you two at rank three, that's that's all right. If it was, like, give you one at rank one, give you two at rank or uh, yeah. pro two, and then give you three at rank th pro three, I can't even speak. The first two <laughs> levels just gave you one rank for everything, right. but starting around here, it's when they give you two ranks for the last in a challenge. And right. later on, you'll see they hand out ranks a little more, even more often. Okay. Yeah. So, yep, that was Mount Hood. Next up, we're going to go to Lax 1. And we're gonna, Lax. We're going to get Lax yeah. at Lax, Lax. 1. In Lax. Sounds fun. Um, it probably is Lax. I don't know where that is. Um, I think it's. I think it locks. Yeah. Um, yeah. Locks up, don't let me down. Wow. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really pulling into the past for these song references, guys. <laughs> you know I hate you, right? Yep. Okay, just Hate you, you too. Yeah, buddy. Not even gonna do Not it. Yeah, don't do All it. right. So thank you, Kazan, for joining us once again. Yeah. Thank you for having yeah. me. Yep. See you guys next time. Locks. <laughs>